everyone, Miss Holokai here. So, tomorrow is a big day. Tomorrow we don't have school, um, because it's voting day. Mommies and daddies, grandmas and grandpas, aunts and uncles, brothers and sisters, everybody, all grown-ups are going to go to, it's called the polls, to vote. Now, because of COVID, um, many people, like myself, I voted through mail. And what we're doing is we're picking the president of the United States. Um, our government is a democracy, which means we elect people. We vote people to work for us, to uh, run the government, to make sure we're safe and we have the soldiers, to, uh, to uh, run our schools, to make, to make laws, and things like that. And so... Uh, it's not like a king or a queen that says, you must do this. The people, they get to decide. They get to vote. And maybe you voted before where mommy says, where do you want to go to dinner tonight? Do you want to go to Chipotle? Or do you want to go to Bob Evans? And everybody raises their hand, right? And then mommy counts everybody's hand in the air. Um, and whatever number's the biggest uh, wins, right? So maybe you and your brother and your dad uh, voted for Chipotle, but your mom and your sister voted for Bob Evans. Well, they only had two people, three people for Chipotle, so you would end up going to Chipotle, right? Same thing with the president. We all vote. We all pick our the, the person that, that we want um, to be the president. It's either Donald Trump or Joe Biden, and we fill out these little bubble papers, and we... Um, we go to the polls, a special place where you could fill out the bubble papers and we turn them in, or you could do it in the, in the mail. So I wanted to read you a story about voting, and then tomorrow we're going to have a classroom vote, okay, um, for your favorite Halloween candy, okay? Here are your two choices, M&M's and lollipops or Reese's and candy corn. Um, because there's a president and a vice president. So it's Trump and Mike Pence. He's the vice president. He, he's like the second in charge. And then you've got Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. So that's why I picked two. Now, I know you're thinking, well, maybe I like three of those candies. Or I like all of those candies. But you got to think in your head, what do you like the best? And make a choice, okay? And then I'll ask you tomorrow and I'll make tally marks, little lines that we can count to see which group had the most, and then that's the winner. So this book is called We Can Vote. See the kids? They are voting. They wrote their choice on a piece of paper, and they put it in the little box, and then they're going to count all the votes to see who won. This book is by Anne Bonwell. She wrote the words, and she um, did the photographs. Okay. Our class votes. Our class is selecting a class pet. We can have a goldfish or a hermit crab. How will we choose? We will take a vote. We look at books about goldfish and hermit crabs. We learn how to take care of them. We share what we like and don't like about each choice. Now we are ready to vote. Everyone gets a ballot. We color the picture of the pet we want for our class. Next, we take turns putting our ballots in the ballot box. We don't have to tell anyone which pet we voted for. So that's that's the same with grown-up voting. You don't need to tell anybody who you voted for. It's it's private. It's secret. So look, the, instead of uh, filling in bubbles or checks, they're going to color their picture, either a hermit crab or a fish, and then they're going to fold that up and put that in the ballot box. Our teacher tallies the votes. More kids voted for the goldfish. That will be our class pet. So look, see what this teacher's doing? I'm going to do that tomorrow. So she's she's like, how many for goldfish? And look, one, two, three, only one for hermit crab. The goldfish won. And it says, how do you feel when your choice wins? How do you feel when your choice loses? So, if you're, you're, 
the pet you picked or the president you picked uh, wins, you're like, yay! And if they lose, you're like, aww. We keep voting. Voting is a fair way for a group to make a choice. You could vote with your friends about what game to play or what movie to watch. So look, they're like, hey, do you want to play ball or jump rope? Let's take a vote. And they put their hand in the air. You might also vote with your family. You could decide where to go on vacation or what to have for dinner. You could decide what to name your new family pet. So maybe, maybe brother and sister want to name him Fido, but mommy and daddy want to name him Spot. You got to take a vote on it. Our country votes. Adults vote too. In the United States, adults vote to choose leaders such as the mayor, the governor, and the president. People vote for leaders in a process called an election. All right, so there's Capitol Hill. That's where all the leaders uh, work. I see some American flags. We hold a presidential election every four years. Grown-ups vote for the candidate they think will do the best job. We vote in November, and the president starts working in January. So there, it says voting today. They're going to vote. And this says, who is the president of the United States right now? The president of the United States is Donald Trump. And Joe Biden, he wants to be president. So on Tuesday, everybody's going to vote, and then they're going to count up the votes. And it might stay Donald Trump, or it might uh, be Joe Biden. But they, they have to figure out who had the most votes. An election, oh, it says, my mom votes. An election is happening soon. My mom reads about the candidates. She listens to them talk on TV. She learns about how the candidates plan to help the country. So that's what you got to do. You got to read newspapers, magazines, watch the news, go on the internet, and, and figure out if you like that person, if they have the same ideas as you, and then you vote for them. On voting day, we go to the polls. Our polling place is at my school. My mom goes into a voting booth. Inside the booth, she uses a computer or marks her choice on a paper ballot. People can mail their ballots if they are living far away. So that's what it looks like. Usually it's schools and churches and things like that where they set up and see how they keep it private. They have that um, little cubicle thing right there so people can't see who you're voting for. My mom's vote is a secret. She does not need to tell anyone which candidate she voted for. When my mom is done, she gets a sticker to show that she voted. So there's mom and her sticker. At home, we watch TV to see who is winning. My mom also looks updates on her phone. When I wake up, we will know who was elected president. I'm proud that my mom did her part. Every vote counts. All right. So remember, tomorrow you get to vote. Your choices are M&M's and lollipops or Reese's Cups and candy corn. Think about your choice for tomorrow, okay? Bye.